welcome back to my channel and for those of you who are just joining I'm Chantel I post weekly makeup tutorials and helpful makeup tips so you should you should consider subscribing to my channel for more awesome makeup looks and today I'll be creating a makeup tutorial that's appropriate for funeral it was requested by one of my subscribers so with all pleasure I went ahead and created this look if you want to see how I achieve this look continue watching Starting with my transition color and I'm using that orange shade with my fluffy blending brush and this is a Morphe brush, it came in a brush set but you guys you can use any blending brush that you have that fits perfectly for the transition area. So I'm just blending that forward and backward and then I'm moving in with that other light brown shade and I'm just adding it to the transition same way and I'm just blending that out. And I'm blending some more with my Mikasa Beauty blending brush. I like this blending brush because it blends out seamlessly. You can get you can get this blending brush with my discount code. It's listed in the description bar. And then I'm taking my tapered blending brush to define the crease some more with that Anastasia Beverly Hills self-made palette. And I'm using the shade Hot Chocolate. Now for the lid color, I'm using Sherbet. I'm not sure how it's pronounced if it's Sherbet or Sherbet, but I think it's Sherbet. Correct me in the comment section if I'm wrong. And I'm just um, cleaning up the crease area somewhere with the same blending brush, but nothing is on it. Then I'm taking, um, what's this called? Mm, pink Champagne. Yeah, I think that's it. And I'm applying it over the first lid shade that I applied. Because it's more, um, it's not metallic, but it's like a bridge between metallic and shimmer. <laughs> Something in between. However, I'm just continuing to clean up all the eyeshadow that I laid on before with the same fluffy blending brush. And I didn't add any more product to it. Now I'm taking that other brown shade to highlight my brow bone. And it's a matte shadow. I don't like shimmer on my for my brow bone highlight. And today I'm mixing my foundations L'Oreal Pro Matte in the shade um Cocoa and Maybelline Matte and Pearless 3355. I'm blending them. And then I'm going to use my color corrector. I did a tutorial on how to cover dark circles and acne scars and hyperpigmentation. So I will link that up top. We're going to see suggested and you can always check out that video. And I'm just continuing to blending up my foundation with my Morphe M439 blending brush. When you use this brush guys, you get a full coverage look. So if you like a full coverage face beat, get this brush to blend out your foundation. And I'm just um, applying the foundation. Not, well, not really applying it. I'm just blending it out some more on the top of my brows. I don't like to use concealer like a shade lighter so I normally stick to concealer or foundation that's my actual shade for the top of my brows and I'm just going to highlight with my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Fawn and I'm blending that out with my flat concealer brush And then to continue the blending process, I'm taking my damp beauty blender to blend this out some more. And now to set my concealer in place so it doesn't move or crease, I'm taking my Sasha Buttercup. 
setting powder. And then for bronzing, I'm going to take my fan brush and to apply my bronzer. And I'm using the LA Girl, no, not LA Girl, the Cover Girl <laughs> Queen Collection Bronzer in Ebony Bronze. And then moving back with that hot chocolate from the ABH palette, I'm going to smudge some of it under the lower lash line. When you do this, it kind of gives you um, like a smoky look. But you don't necessarily have to put shadows under your lower lash line. It's a choice. You don't necessarily have to do it. And then for my nose to control the oil on my nose, I'm using my RCME No Color Powder. And if you have oily skin, you need to get this powder. It's the best powder for oily skin. Whether you are light, medium or dark or deep skin tone, you need to get this powder. And I'm just dusting away the rest of it with my powder brush. And then to apply my blush, I'm using the e.l.f. blush palette in the shade dark. And I'm just, you know, gracefully patting it onto my cheeks and then I'm going to blend it in. Using my The Bomb Cosmetics highlighting palette, I'm taking Mary, no. I will list the shade as I use in the description bar and I'm using a fan brush to apply it. Then applying my lower lash line mascara, Maybelline Great Lash as usual. <laughs> and then I'm going to line my lips with um, a drugstore lip liner. You can use any lip liner you want that's like a deep berry shade. Now taking my LA Girl, um, I don't remember the name of this lippy, but I will definitely lip it, link it in the description bar. And then applying my inner corner highlight, I'm using the same highlighting palette. Now to set this look in place so that it lasts all day and doesn't move, I'm using the Scandinavia Makeup Setting Spray. And that's the end of the look guys. Hope you like it and make sure you subscribe for more awesome tutorials. See you in the next video.